mind the frame and all that. What's going on guys? Zach, Dad, whatever you want to call me. Uh, today we're going to be discussing how to make 500 wheel horsepower, real wheel, whatever you want to call it, horsepower in your Kia Stinger. So I got my 2019 Kia Stinger right here. Uh, I'm going to list, I think, six to seven mods, which you need, absolutely need to make 500 wheel horsepower on the dyno, proven, whatever. So you're gonna need some supporting mods. So I would go down to burgertuning.com. Go and get you some BMS intercooler, a BMS intercooler, 700 bucks, easy, done, not expensive. Don't go get you an expensive intercooler. It's a waste of money in my opinion, but that's one, colder, colder airflow, all that good stuff. Then you wanna to go to HPS, get some HPS intakes, and that will be about 20 wheel horsepower. It's stretched, but I've uh, I did a little bit of research on it, and that's going to be the best, uh, the absolute best, you know, intakes you could buy. I got mine polished. Looks the best in my opinion. Um, second, I mean third, you're going to want to get uh, some two-step colder spark plugs. And that's going to be for the tune later on. We'll discuss that. Then you want to get a catch can, BMS catch can. You can get that with the intercooler, that's what I did. I purchased the intercooler and catch can at the same time. Um, but if that's really the supporting mods you need, then you want to get into the big boy stuff, which is obviously the more expensive stuff, and you're going to absolutely hate your life for spending that much money. But you get 500 wheel horsepower to Kia, so who gives a fuck? Um, you want to go to NG, get some NGT primary downpipes. Those are going to be the best downpipes for the money. Uh, they fit perfect. It only took me three hours to install it. People, a lot of people say it's a terrible install. That's why they get the secondary downpipes. It was literally a three-hour install. I just paid my local mechanic a hundred bucks a day after hours. It's not that big of a deal. Um, that's going to give you the most horsepower gain, you know, out of any mod. That's besides the two. Then you're going to want to go down to Lap 3's website. I know, I know, I know. JB4, Lap 3, Torque, whatever. Lap 3 is the most expensive, but obviously there's a reason why it's so damn expensive. So you want to go to Lap 3, get the uh, ECU tune stage 2.5. That's gonna uh, it's gonna come with a meth kit. It's not come with a meth kit, but you have to get a meth kit. Get a meth kit with it. Uh, my my ECU in my car ran me about about three grand. I got but I got the most options. You could you could get lesser options and all that, but I wanted all the the ten nine yards. Uh, but but definitely get the two point five. That's how you're gonna make five hundred wheel. Any you can't get anything else. So the two point five is gonna be your best bet to get five hundred. Then you're gonna go get you the TCU tune. TCU tune is not a power adder, but it's gonna make your car faster. And I highly recommend it. Um, with paired with the ECU tune, so definitely get the ECU tune. Um, I mean TCU tune, but TCU tune get the stage two. I think that's the only one on the website right now. I could be mistaken. I, I know there used to be a stage three, but get the stage two. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, but yeah, that's really all the mods you're gonna need. I'll put uh, I'll put all the links down in the description, all that good stuff. But, but one thing I don't want to forget about, I forgot to put it in the original video, is uh, wheels. You definitely don't want to forget about uh, lightweight wheels. You're gonna you're gonna free up a lot of horsepower going with light lightweight wheels. So I definitely recommend it. Um, I went with that Finipaldi FSF 02. They're discontinued, but they're fully forged. Um, so, so yeah, they're really light. They're about 18 pounds a piece. So yeah, they're definitely worth it. Anything 18 pounds lighter is definitely going to benefit you a lot. And I definitely recommend it. Um, hundred percent, you know, that'll get you very, very close to the 500 wheel horsepower mark, uh, very easily. So, so I definitely recommend that. Um, I'm going to give you a little, some clips of the wheels, um, and tires that I have on the vehicle or on the car right now. So. though that somebody wanted to hear the cold start of a 500 horsepower Kia nobody said that but I'm still gonna cold start the 500 wheel horsepower Kia that's right in front of me yeah, yeah. let's see underwhelming 
not very impressed with the cold start, but know why? With the Lab 3 ECU tune, I actually opted out for the cold start, so there's less wear and tear, damage, whatever, at idle, cold start, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, it's always a good option, you know, if you don't want to fuck up your motor right away when you start it every morning when it's like 20 fucking degrees outside. But yeah, I did opt out of the cold start option, so that's why it's so goddamn quiet. And uh, so yeah, but yeah, that was the cold start. Very underwhelming, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, more videos to come. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, really want to hit that goal of 1,000 subs. Um, but actually, this car is not going to last too much longer on this channel. We might have a new car. I don't know. It depends if I can afford it. But I really do love this car, and I don't know if I want to sell it yet. Let me know down in the comments if I should sell it, if I shouldn't sell it. But, yeah. Let me know if I should sell this thing to get something even faster. Twice as fast, whatever you want to call it. So, let me know down in the comments, and please subscribe. I'll see y'all later. And I definitely don't want to forget the best part.